Sean Ray and Kevin Lavroni, two of the all-time greats as far as the 1990s are concerned, and of course the 90s being one of the greatest decades, so these are two of the best. Sean Ray, his best version in my opinion, 1994, some may argue 96, very similar versions. And of course, Kevin Lavroni, it is very arguable what his best version is, but I decided to go with the 1995 version. It is similar pitcher qualities, things of that nature, so it's a fair comparison, I do believe. I think Kevin Lavroni would uh, lose against the smaller man in the front relaxed position. Of course, there's a little asymmetry in those pecs. And not to mention, Sean Ray just looks fantastic. The aesthetics, the conditioning, not to mention, have another pan back view here, and you can really see what I mean. Kevin Lavroni, never the strongest man in the symmetry round, I do believe. I mean, you can plainly see that torn pack once again. All right, guys, that's the front relaxed. Let's have a look at the rear relaxed. Kevin Lavroni may get an edge here when you look at the size of the muscles in those traps and in the lats. Of course, Sean Ray, very lowly inserted lats, and he has that Christmas tree as well. I don't know, guys. I'm going to give a slight edge in the symmetry round to Sean Ray, I do believe, but there was no side relaxed comparison, so it is a very slight edge, not a, not a full point. Of course, I do believe... Sean Ray would get a full point in the front double bicep pose. When you look at the balance of the legs to the upper body, Sean Ray probably has a bigger set. Of course, Kevin has those massive arms, much bigger. But look at the waistline of Sean Ray. Each and every time you think Kevin Lavroni has one up on Sean in this pose, you notice Sean, he just won't mess around. Look at the lats, everything. Another shot here. Now this one, I don't know, I think this one might favor Kevin Lavroni a little bit more, but nothing doing. Sean Ray, what a package that he brought in this front double bicep pose. For a little man, keep in mind, much smaller. That vacuum really expands the rib cage. Really helps. I'd like to see a lot more of the athletes pulling that maneuver. Maneuver. Front lat spread. Now this is going to be a little bit difficult to choose. I'm going to go with Kevin Lavroni, even though his legs are a little smaller and there is an asymmetry in those lats. Ditto with Sean Ray and his pecs as well. Both of these guys, when you look at their pecs in this pose, a little unsymmetrical. Like I said, Sean Ray, the bigger, probably better set of legs. And that's it's crazy when you think about it. He is the much smaller man. And I guess that's just it, is the size. Kevin Lavroni, just too wide. So at the end of the day... Kevin gets the point in the front lat spread. Side chest, the result is just the same. Kevin, too big, much too shapely in this shot. I mean, look at Sean Ray's little peck. It has that big split, and you guys know I do not like them. Splits in the pecs, it looks like Pac-Man with his mouth closed. Either way, Kevin Lavroni, just fantastic. Another one here, and I really like this one of Lavroni. Look at the waist to chest ratio and that arm thrown in there. This could be put back into the 1970s. Get into your DeLorean. I know you can afford a DeLorean, Kevin Lavroni. Talk to Doc. He will fix that up and you can go back. Back to 74 and challenge Arnold. Ooh. 95 Lavroni, 74 Arnold. That would be a good one. Either way, Kevin Lavroni notching up another point. And you might as well keep your little marker out and give him one in the side tricep as well. Sean Ray really phoned it in with this pose in 94. Couldn't find a single shot of him doing the mandatory. So Kevin Lavroni was more than obligent. Look at the size of his tricep. And just for the heck of it, throw in an actual mandatory one of Kevin Lavroni. Camera angle has distorted his size here. It was hard to get the, the actual sizes to scale. But you can see that tricep, Kevin Lavroni, much like Sean Ray in the front double bicep, he does not mess around at all. Maybe losing to Dorian Yates, but this was the, the best side tricep of the 1990s, except for Dorian, like I said. Back developments, guys, and this one surprises me. This one, this one actually favors Kevin Lavroni. 
Sean Ray, not known for a week back, and Kevin Lavroni gets criticized for his back. And it's plain to see right here, if you if you ignore the conditioning of those glutes of Sean Ray, Kevin Lavroni has this one with ease. His hamstrings look good and conditioned, calves a little bit better, and his glutes are not soft. I see striations, not as good as Sean Ray's, but he is twice as big in that back. And I think it's a, a matter of scale. I mean, Sean Ray's half as, or twice as conditioned as Kevin Lavroni, but Kevin Lavroni is three times the size of Sean Ray. So that three times beats the two times, I guess. In the rear double by, this is an opposite. I, I am going with Sean Ray in this one. It's just a stronger pose for him altogether. And Kevin Lavroni, is it just me or does he... He fades away in the rear double by. There were certain versions of him that he really nailed this pose, but 95, good everywhere else in the rear double. I mean, it's not a terrible shot, but I don't know. I'm still going to go with Sean Ray. This black and white one does favor Kevin Lavroni a little bit better, I do believe. But remember the first shot is just a little bit more narrow. He goes too narrow. Apply whatever he did to that rear lat spread, and this would have been an unbeatable pose. Either way, it's even in the back shots. And the gentlemen turn back around and show us the ab and thigh pose. This is a renowned shot for Sean Ray. Is it possible for Kevin Lavroni to catch him in this one? Definitely not by using this blurry picture of Kevin Lavroni. He can't even see the conditioning, for goodness sakes. Have another one here. This is a much better shot for Kevin Lavroni. Don't get me wrong, guys. Kevin Lavroni seems to always be getting the short end of the stick in the ab and thigh pose on my channel. This is probably one of his best. Look how dry he is in the obliques. But I mean, no matter how good somebody looks, you look at Sean Ray in this one. And that ab setup that he has with those, those lats. And of course, the quads. Just a phenomenal shot for Sean Ray. He does get the ab and thigh. Most muscular. Now, if you count this one, I guess it's up to you. It might change your, your score sheet. But either way, it's you could have two outcomes. Sean Ray, look at the arms on him. And his chest, pecs, fantastic. Of course, Kevin Lavroni, his arms, twice as big. I wouldn't say his pecs are any better. Let's have a, a colored pitcher here. And again, guys, Sean Ray looks outstanding in this pose. Keep in mind, this is a Lavroni shot. This is, he's famous for it. Lavroni winning in the traps. And when you look at the delts, it's boys against men. Sean Ray being the small little kid. Of course, he's half the size of Lavroni. So whether you do or you do not count the most muscular, I would go ahead and give Kevin Lavroni, a point in this one. And he is your winner in this competition. Kevin Lavroni squeaks by Sean Ray. Very close little competition, of course. If you did count the symmetry round and you did give the most muscular to Sean Ray, or rather you did not count it, Sean Ray would have won this one. So there's some controversy there, but I like to count the most muscular. It's not like they were not hitting the pose to their best of their abilities. Kevin Lavroni, he's a little bit better in my opinion, using these two versions. Hit thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, guys. Thumb or er, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Have a great day.